When you hear the word wealthy, your mind is likely to be drawn to materialistic possessions, owning things such as fancy cars, big houses, a, a fancy watch, Rolexes, going away on holiday to the Maldives, things like this. The term wealthy for me has a very different definition. A wealthy man has no need to validate himself to others and prove that in any way. I think for me the difference between rich and wealthy is owning things. For me a wealthy man keeps it quiet, he very much has assets and things that can make him more money whereas someone who's a rich individual is likely to spend it on things that isn't going to make them much money and you you probably think of someone who's rich as owning some like i mentioned the possessions owning loads of clothes going out for fancy meals all these holidays you must be quite a rich individual someone would probably say to you and i truly believe that anyone who lives in a country where there's economic viability to earn a decent living can become very wealthy over time and this video probably won't do as well as some of the videos that are very clickbait for example someone like Iman Gazi telling you the top five top ten ways to make ten thousand dollars a month and I think if you're watching those types of videos I hope you're not but if you've been there before the chances of you making that amount of money are very slim if I'm going to be honest with you and also I'm going to explain in this video how you don't need to make $10,000 a month and probably those people who earn that amount of money are not actually that wealthy deep down. I pick who I spend my time with very carefully. The people that I know personally who are the most wealthy individuals that I've met have no need to show it whatsoever. They're the people you least expect. They don't show it in any way as I mentioned. They're the people wearing the plain clothes, wearing the beat up, having the beat up cars, not living in a lavish area, not going on fancy holidays, anything like this. For example, I have a friend who's the same age as me. He started working around the age of 16 doing manual labor. And by the time I think he was 20, 21, bought his first house, did it up. And because he's practical with that type of things, made quite a lot of money of it. And now he's bought a new house and he's renting it out. And to do this in th in this day at 23 is very cha is very challenging, and I have a lot of respect for that because I know how hard it is uh, to kind of get yourself on the property ladder and to build yourself up financially and to have financial discipline is very difficult. Um, so, and he's very much one of those types of people. He doesn't even own an iPhone. He's very rarely on social media. Doesn't really have many accounts whatsoever spends a lot of his time just working and learning and you may think this is boring but unfortunately a lot of people won't tell you this because it doesn't sell as well but a lot of the boring stuff are the things that can make you very wealthy a mentor of mine when i first started um, doing a job recently over the last couple of years he had a very beat up car he'd wear even like wired earphones which at the end of the day is no big deal whatsoever but something nowadays that probably a lot of people wouldn't even want to be seen wearing he owned multiple houses had two free businesses and he just wasn't bothered in any way and he, he just had an aura about him that very much intrigued me and this is why i spent a lot of time with him kind of learning like why is he the way he is i'm very fascinated by that and to learn off those types of people it's a uh, very it can be very valuable to yourself if you want to become that part type of person who just doesn't care about those types of things and the clear correlation that I'm trying to tell you is that it's the people who don't care too much about what other people think I'm not saying that you should just go out and just look dirty and disgusting wearing loads of old clothes not taking care of yourself I don't mean it in that way but just being like yeah I, I don't have the latest phone I don't have the latest car I'm, I'm not bothered about these designer clothes like for myself I, as you can probably see I'm not wearing a designer t-shirt I think this is from like Sainsbury's or something like that it probably costs like five six pounds or something because I don't I don't care I don't need to wear it I don't need that validation from anyone else and like I said it's not this video won't do as well as a lot of video, other videos out there because it's not it's not a simple task it, I'm basically telling you that you've got to be very patient to build wealth and you've got to make smart investments and you can't be going out there spending loads of money trying to impress other people because it just doesn't work like nearly anyone you see at your age especially if they're from your local area that has these possessions it's almost definitely from their parents inherited or whatever given to them 
for whatever reason or for the vast majority of people is probably financed along those lines because a lot of people just don't have that money you'll be very surprised if you get speaking to people the the lack of people that have financial literacy and discipline to be able to save and reinvest money and for me it's not it's always been a case of it's not how much you earn it's how much you can save it's how much you can reinvest and hold on to that's what matters and this can get yourself a very very good life like i said i don't buy fancy things i don't live a lavish lifestyle and i'm not saying that you shouldn't do this and you should do exactly what i say but just be very careful and if this is a lifestyle that you'd like to obtain where you are just someone who's not really bothered about these types of things and also a correlation that i've seen in these types of people they are very much they have very good lives and i don't very much I very much see wealth as not just a financial perspective. I see it in very much how are their relationships, how happy they are as an individual, how healthy are they both physically and mentally and emotionally. All these things added up is is a wealthy man or woman. And I see these people as, as probably the happiest people because probably because they just don't really care too much about what other people think. And because a lot of people that are caring, if you are there, and I've been there too, where I have tried to cover up and buy, buy materialistic possessions that I thought would make me happier. It's a lot, it was down to insecurity. And because I've reached a point now, and I'm not saying I, I've reached a pinnacle whatsoever, but I've very much reached a point where I, I'm not really that bothered. Like I build myself up to a decent level. I know who I am. I know what I stand for as a person. And unfortunately, a lot of people, especially younger people, don't have that. And even as we get older, like there's a lot of people, 40, 50 year old, they're still buying these massive cars that they can't afford on credit and finance. And it's very much screwing them over financially and causing major problems in the long run. But I know you are probably interested in sports yourself as I am too. So I've decided to throw a sporting example into this. So someone who I've followed quite closely over the last few years is Manchester City footballer Rodri. Uh, I'll put a picture on the screen now if you're not too familiar with him. His stock is very high. Currently, just, just after winning the Euros with Spain at England's expense, unfortunately, not only is this guy a very, very talented footballer, he is a very smart guy inside. He has a bachelor's degree, he isn't on any social media, he doesn't have a fancy haircut, he doesn't have any tattoos, he doesn't drive a fancy car. I don't know everything about his life, but I presume he probably doesn't live in a mansion and has multiple materialistic possessions. And I look at someone like that, uh, as well as admiring him for a very talented footballer, and be like, this guy is very smart. And to have a footballer of that status, to just not have any social media whatsoever, it's extremely rare. I cannot think of really anyone at that level who doesn't have any social media. But I think a lot of that comes down to a lot of your upbringing. And I understand that a lot of people, because of their parents or their environment, are naturally going to cling on to that type of lifestyle and think, you know, this this is what my parents did. So I kind of really don't know a lot of difference. And I think it, it, it starts from somewhere, unfortunately. So I'm not saying that you are going to automatically pick this up but if it's something that you can do to look at society look for someone like a Rodri look for someone as I mentioned my friend who's been working since he was 60 look for someone like my mentor who's probably a millionaire and has a beat up car wears wired earphones and doesn't care about anything of that ill whatsoever get closer to these people in your life because they will lead you to what I would consider a better life. Maybe you would not, but I think if you want to be a wealthy individual, whether that be financially, whether that be in terms of your relationships, whether that be in terms of your fitness, and hopefully you want to tickle three of those boxes, then finding these people who aren't too bothered about the, the types of things that society wants you to care about, that will keep you poor, unfortunately, in the long run. If you can get that out of your mind from a young age, whether that be 18, 20, 23 like myself, even a bit older, 30, you can live a very li wealthy li lifestyle and you can achieve the things that you want to achieve and you'll realise that this stuff just doesn't really matter. Since since I stopped buying all this stuff, how little I actually care and 
how much happiness did those give me? I feel like it actually gives me more happiness to find bargains and to kind of live this lifestyle of like, okay, that, let's build up as much as I can and kind of enjoy the journey, which, which is what it's all about. And every day progressing and learning more and becoming very much the person I want to become. And that has to start with stop caring about what other people think. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong and keep some trap and peeing before. But if you want any more guidance on this matter, how you can become a more wealthy individual in whatever metrics you decide, my one-to-one -one coaching link will be below. I'd very much like to help you. So that'll be below. If you can like and subscribe, that would mean a lot. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.